Yo, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, and welcome to my house. Come on in. Well, Rapper sorry. Wiz Khalifa has shown off his living situation in the past, and of course, his previous Bel Air home even had a weed bar in typical Wiz fashion. Although we'll take a look at that house, he's moved on to somewhere even nicer. These days, it's reported that Wiz lives with his son Sebastian when he's not with his mom Amber Rose, that is, in a gorgeous, modern, smart home he bought in Encino. Today, we'll take a tour of the rapper's properties from California to Pennsylvania, and we even found the listings. Cameron Jabril Thomas, better known as Wiz Khalifa, is a rapper, singer, songwriter, and more. He released his debut album in 2006 and signed to Warner Brothers Records shortly after in 2007. He had many hits top the Billboard charts over the years and successful album sales, probably his most famous song being Black and Yellow. These days, Wiz is happy spending time with his son Sebastian and just kicking back writing music. Oh, and he's still rolling up. When the rapper isn't relaxing in that pool and spot his Encino pad, he also has some property in Pennsylvania. Wiz grew up all over the globe, even in Germany, the UK, and Japan, but finally settled in Pittsburgh where he attended Taylor Alderdice High School. Funny enough, that became his alter ego name too, and the real estate he bought more recently is close to his old stomping grounds. At the time of this recording, Wiz's net worth sits in an estimated 60 mil or more, so he's doing well to say the least. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're doing another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We'll be taking a look at rapper Wiz Khalifa and where he calls home, like his previous Bel Air mansion, his current modern Encino home, and much more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours and likes of 2 Chains and Ludacris, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. was living in his current home, he was renting a spa in Bel Air for quite some time, which was even featured in Architectural Digest. This gorgeous three-story house was located in the posh Bel Air neighborhood and offered incredible views of the LA skyline and canyons. The Mediterranean-style residence was costing Wiz a reported 16 k per month, but seeing how he lived there for four years or more, he clearly loved the place. I got this space like maybe three or four years ago. I got it because it was in a cut and there was a lot of rooms for my son. I got a five-year-old, so I wanted to make sure that he could run around and have a good time. I just felt like it was a good place for me to call home for a little bit. When talking about why he chose the house, Wiz said, It was a really good area. We had a look around and I didn't really want to be too far away from where I work and where I go to the gym and my son's school. It was a good area for me to have privacy. Inside the house span 8,970 square feet with 6 beds, 7 baths and an airy modern vibe. There's a lot of open spaces, high ceilings and glass throughout. Other features inside of Wiz's home include a large open living room, a formal dining room and oversized family room with walls of glass. The living room space, I love this space because it's super chill, it's nice and wide open, it's got a very grown up vibe. It's just a cool place to relax and get your head together. We do a lot of movie nights in the living room where we just, there's just people like everywhere. The gourmet chef's kitchen boasts granite counters, a large island and stainless steel appliances. His previous master bedroom features a sitting room, oversized spa tub, city views, a fireplace and a huge walk-in closet. But we can see that the closet wasn't enough since Wiz added an extra one. Some stuff that uh, people have given me over time, some stuff that uh, I'm actually making. This is actually one that I'm designing. Wiz also made himself quite the man cave, which he called the games room. All right, y'all, come kick it in the game room, AKA the gang room. Let's do it. Here's where you would have found a fireplace, a flat screen, and a Steelers billiards table, which is obviously his team. The rapper also hangs up all his albums and awards here too. Not to mention, the room was personalized with Wiz's unique drink and weed bar. The corner is decorated with a custom High Life neon sign and all of his glass accessories. Much of the house was just for Wiz's son Sebastian to hang out, dedicating an entire living area to him and his toys, which I'm sure is no different than their current house. It's one of the bigger parts of the house, and when you walk in, you kind of just get the vibe of my son. It's just a good space because there's like different compartments, you know what I mean? He's got his play area, he's got his learning area, he's got his, you know, imagination station over there, and then, you know, he gets to do him. We just do it the freeway, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's lit. Uh, two gumballs for my guests. And then 
Other perks of the rapper's previous home included a study, media room, and gym on the lower level. Since Wiz works from home much of the time, he even put a cool looking recording studio in this home, which he says is his favorite part of the house. Now we about to go down to my favorite part of the house. I showed you the gang room, I showed you the playroom, but this is my baby right here. Because it's a studio, it's a recording studio, and when you're in here, you're in your own little world. This is like a fighter jet, like it's like a little spaceship. I'm always recording, but the thing is, we keep things on different hard drives, and we keep the hard drives in our person, and I don't keep them with me, because I smoke weed and party all the time, so. Hard drive's not here, sorry. <laughs> to make the rental feel like home, Wiz worked with interior designer Michelle Silva, who explained, I think overall we were looking to achieve a design that we thought was indicative of who he was, a father, an entertainer, a free spirit, and a creative. He's so young, so we wanted to keep the design playful and super hip. We wanted to bring out the fun and interesting materials because of the connection with fashion. It had to be something that reflected his personality and his lifestyle with vibrant choices, but also provides a lot of the comfort. The main accent color around the house ended up being blue, aside from the black and yellow themed games room we took a look at. In terms of furnishings, there was a focus on luxe fabrics and custom furniture. The home is also full of personal photos of Wiz's own, especially many with he and Sebastian. Outside on the property, there was also a heated infinity pool and spa, offering cityscape views. Not to mention, Sebastian had a trampoline, which I'm sure they brought to the new place. Just last year, it was officially settled down in a newly built modern mansion, and this time he isn't renting. Sources report the rapper paid $3.4 million for the home, and it's located just south of Ventura in Encino, California, where he's surrounded by other celebrities like Selena Gomez, Logan Paul, and more. Wiz's Encino mansion was brand new upon purchase, and of course equipped with all the best smart home tech. With features like security cameras and an impressive sound system, it's ideal for him since he wants both privacy for his family and the ability to blast his new tracks. Inside the contemporary home spans 5,832 square feet with 5 beds and 7 baths. Entering through the large custom wood pivot door, you'll find the grand entry with floating stairs and double height ceilings. Not to mention a unique feature light in the middle that's hard to miss. The one of a kind mansion has an open flow layout in the common spaces where you'll find more than one living area complete with fireplace, formal dining nook, and a 100 bottle wine bar. Wiz's kitchen is modern, all white, and features state-of-the-art appliances, walk-in pantry, waterfall island, and even a breakfast table with floor-to-ceiling windows. Also occupying the first floor of the rapper's house, you'll find the office, home movie theater, and an ensuite bedroom. Moving upstairs, there's an open-air lounge with outdoor terrace and wraparound balcony with gorgeous views, not to mention three more ensuite bedrooms and a large laundry room. Wiz's master suite is obviously the nicest, though. There's a bar with a fridge, a fireplace, imported walk-in closet with center island, and of course, a lavish spa-style bathroom to match. Here, there's a dual vanity and huge attached balcony. Outside on the grounds, we can see that gorgeous pool and spa that Wiz loves to show off on his Instagram. There's also a pool house, a full bath and outdoor kitchen, not to mention extra covered patio space and terraces to lounge and entertain. Los Angeles isn't the only place Wiz owns property. This final home we're gonna take a look at has sentimental value to the rapper. Remember I mentioned where Wiz grew up? Well, this home is only 25 miles from his high school, so pretty nostalgic. Those were also the years he started writing his music, so I can see why buying a spot in Pennsylvania would be so important to him. It's reported Wiz bought this gorgeous home back in 2012 for about 900k. It's located in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, and sits on a large lot spanning almost three acres of land, which is wooded in private. He's guaranteed security and peace here when he wants to escape the busyness of Hollywood. Inside, the sleek high-tech home spans 3,891 square feet of living space with five beds and four baths. It was custom built in 2000. And eight, so Wiz really didn't have to fix up or update the place at all. According to listing materials, it's actually an eco-friendly home and there's an irrigation system outside, garage floors with triple aggregate floors for draining and cedar siding. Inside the floor is Brazilian cold wood with radiant heating. There are also expansive 15-foot ceilings covered in Douglas fir panels. Although the home has a cozy cabin vibe to it, there are a ton of floor-to-ceiling windows to make sure the interior lets in plenty of natural light. There's an open-plan main living space where you'll find a living area, formal dining table, and kitchen with access to a large patio through glass doors. The kitchen offers stainless steel appliances as well. Finally, looking at photos, the master suite Wiz occupies here also offers walls of windows and even an additional seating area or lounge in front of the massive walk-in closet, complete with a TV. 
Other highlights of Wiz's Pennsylvania home include a huge outdoor entertainment patio and a separate guest house on the property. Although I'm not sure how much time Wiz spends here, I'm sure it's nice to have the option. So now we've taken a look at the homes of rapper Wiz Khalifa from his previous Valor home with a weed bar, his current home in Encino, and even the place he bought in Pennsylvania. After seeing all three of the houses, did you guys have a favorite? For me, it was hard to choose. I think by the looks of it, Wiz decorated the LA home to fit his style quite nicely, but I think I kind of like the Pennsylvania home best because the land is gorgeous and I love how it's surrounded by woods, as well as the cabin vibe it has while still being super modern. What did you guys like best about the places? Anyways, you guys let me know, you know where, as well as what other celebrity houses you'd like to see. I've been reading a lot of your comments as usual and seeing requests for the likes of Usher, Cher, you name it. So keep them coming and keep your eye out for the tours you've been asking for. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in the next vid. Bye!